Good morning, it's the 27th of September. Coming down to this loop, I don't... Well, that highway, and it's a highway. I saw a truck go by a minute ago. Two, two semis going by. So that is the highway that is at the southern boundary of the uh, Glacier National Park. Actually, and I can see Maybe you can see it too. See that rail bed? Yeah, that's the Burlington Northern Amtrak line. And uh, that also skirts the southern boundary of Glacier National Park. So that's what I'm looking at right there. Those mountains are in Glacier National Park. Um, there is a campground here. I uh, hope they have some water. Uh, I presume that they do. I camped up the trail. Four tents or something like that. As a rule, through hikers don't camp at places like that. They're just off in the woods. Save themselves ten bucks or whatever. But it will be nice if I can get uh, some water here. Okay, let me check it out. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, looks like a Bullwinkle faucet. Oh, yeah. Okay, get some drinking water. Okay, planning is everything. The plan is nothing. Military aphorism. Um, so I sketched out uh, where I would like to go to get from here to the monument at uh, Waterton Lake. Uh, and there's new procedure for the permitting just instituted a couple days ago uh, basically because they shut down the ranger station on the east side uh, due to the time of the year and uh, but I had sort of a logical plan and it looks like with some very mod uh, moderate uh, minor uh, adjustments, that's what's going to be executed, what they're, what they're writing the permit uh, for me. Uh, it's going to be a matter of uh, getting the permit to me. <laughs> the logistics of that are that they have to like write it, get it to the ranger on the east side of uh, the park, maybe at East Glacier, and maybe get it to me this afternoon, maybe first thing in the morning. Uh, they have to see who's going to be available. Uh, the modification is because they have closed part of the CDT. They have closed part of the trail uh, due to bear activity. Apparently, there may be like a carcass like on the trail. And so uh, there's a section of the CDT which is closed. But fortunately, there's an alternate trail called the Highline Trail. Took a look at it on the map. Looks like it's gonna be fun. Uh, I will have to have about a five mile road walk to get to the High Line Trail on the Going to the Sun Highway, which they normally don't let you walk down, but because there's sort of no choice, they do. So it looks like it's all coming together. So I'm, I'm a happy camper. Uh, now it's gonna be sort of a crushing food load 
I'm gonna have to take a look. It's either gonna be seven or eight days because I not only have to hike up to Waterton Lake, uh, but now I gotta get out of the park and that's gonna be two more nights after I touch the monument at the northern boundary. Um, I asked the ranger, how do, how do people, how do CDT through hikers like get out of the park? You know, is, is there an easy way? I, I, if so, I don't see it. And he said, well, uh, this time of year, not too many people go up to Waterton. They go over to uh, Chief Mountain, which is, yeah, you just end up at a, at a closed uh, uh, border crossing. So, I mean, there's, there's nothing there. You walk up to the border and you can't even see the boundary marker. So, but I'm gonna get to go to Waterton Lakes. I'm happy. I am happy. Okay. I probably do need to sort of get into East Glacier because I'm going to have to resupply this afternoon. Laundry, shower, uh, get my backcountry permit from the ranger, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'm planning to go to the hostel there. But, uh, yeah. And the ranger told me other than Tomorrow night, 40% chance of rain, snow at elevation, extended forecast, all looks very favorable. Yep. Okay. This is the boundary line for uh, Glacier. That's the way I've come. I've been walking through Glacier all day. I think I'm entering uh, uh, the territory of the Blackfeet Nation at this point. I've got uh, two to three miles to go to East Glacier. I have just uh, a ton of things to do that, uh, yeah. Ton of things to do. I'll just leave it at that. Because I gotta be leaving tomorrow because I have my backcountry permit. Passing a milestone. 100 miles to the Canadian border. These milestones are going faster and faster and faster. Yep. Okay, speaking of faster and faster and faster, I need to get into town because I just have a ton of things to do. So just as I got to town, not only did my phone battery die, but my backup battery died as well. I couldn't even find the map to the to the hostel. So uh, had dinner at Serrano's, good dinner, lots of calories with Grizzly Smurf and, and chimney. Chimney's already done. How does it feel, chimney? Oh, it feels amazing. This is for real. I'm 
Like doesn't it. feel real, huh? Yeah. Is it gonna hit you when you get home or what? Yeah, we'll see. Okay. So going to the hostel.